the notorious Queensboro Bridge off-ramp was the scene of a freakish accident involving a third Volkswagen. Early Saturday morning, a speeding 2007 Volkswagen Golf lost control as it went down the outer ramp into Queens and hit a scaffolding outside 2504 Queens Plaza South and flipped up into the air before landing on a parked livery cab. The speeding car careened off the ramp at the same exact curve where two other deadly car crashes happened in the last two months. The driver was taken to New York Presbyterian Hospital with minor injuries, according to police. This lucky passenger of the livery cab was on her way to the airport and had the car pull over so that she can go to an ATM to get money for the fare when the accident happened. As soon as I walked out, I heard a, I heard a, a definitely a screeching sound, and I saw that there was, I looked up, there's, this car was crashing right at me. It was way out of control already. I ran underneath the scaffolding that's right there, and all the debris went all around me, and somehow, I don't know how, I just wasn't even hurt. If I had been in the car, it would have been crashed in the back of me. That's where I was. I'm still in shock right now. I died because everyone keeps telling me about the previous incidents that happened here, and the earlier incidents seem that people have died in the same exact scenario that I was just in. The off-ramp of doom claimed the lives of two others in similar accidents earlier this year. In April, Beatrice Rodriguez was in a car that lost control coming off the ramp and careened across Queens Plaza South into two storefronts. The mother of two died of her injuries on April 7th. On March 28th, a similar accident claimed the life of a pedestrian after an out-of-control car sped off the ramp and rammed into him. The driver, Grant Riddell, suffered a severed arm. Ironically, the grisly accidents all involved Volkswagens. This is Peter Kong for the New York Post.